transplanting some sundew seedlings. These are the big parent plants, but have thousands and thousands of little small plants. You could probably see them around the edges, very green. I'm going to be taking them and transplanting them into a uh, fresh sphagnum. And if you can see, I have a few like around here in this small container. So the first thing you're going to want to do is have uh, your pot ready. It could be a regular pot or a pudding cup or anything like that. You're going to put some sphagnum moss inside the pot. Now, some people like to use peat moss or peat sphagnum mixes or peat sand mixes or sphagnum uh, perlite. All types of stuff people use. I just like to use uh, good old sphagnum moss straight from the bag. This is New Zealand sphagnum, by the way. And uh, what you're going to do is get some rainwater or some distilled water. And you're going to want to wet the sphagnum. Now, I have here an entire gallon of distilled water. But since I watered my uh, Saracenia the other day, a lot of the water seeped down. And this is also mixed with a bit of rainwater. So I'm just going to use this water just to wet the sphagnum a bit. Remember, in the end, you're gonna be, uh, we're going to be watering these pots thoroughly. So, ah, there you go. That's pretty wet, if you can see there. It's like dripping down. So, so it looks like there's only half uh, a container of sphagnum, but that's because I compressed it so much to get it really wet. A lot of people like to put the sphagnum really compact at the bottom. This is one technique I, I, I was reading online about. Really compact the bottom of the pot and then less compact the top of the pot for their seedlings. Um, I really don't know what works uh, that well or not. I'm just going to put sphagnum until the, it reaches the top of the pot. So, And yes, I'm made back there. Alright, so I put more sphagnum in. Make sure it gets really wet. Carnivorous plants like... Uh, really wet habitats. Alright, a bit more. And I think that's it for sphagnum for this pot. That's like a lot of sphagnum I think I put in this pot already. And the sphagnum is really wet. If you can see, if I push down my fingers, uh, there's going to be water there. So, now a lot of people like to use tweezers. I'm a bit more ghetto here, so I have my exacto knife. And what I'm going to do is just take out a few of these baby sundews that are like right here along the edge. The mother plant is right here. You can probably see. There's also a little bit of this is a flower of uh, Utricularia. But yeah, there's baby sundews here. So I'm just going to take a small amount of the baby sundews. You know, cut it out with my life. You could be more precise with a. Uh, a lot of people could be more precise than me with a pair of tweezers. But if you just put them into the sphagnum like that and cover them slightly, not completely covered, but just slightly covered, you'll see that now you have a pot with a few. Now you have a pot with a few baby sundews. And what I'm gonna, just gonna do is take a, a few more and put them in different areas of the pot because sundews really look better when they, you have a lot of them. So let's just take that and put that right there. So now there's at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's about eight or nine uh, little plantlets in this pot. And I'll just let them grow in this pot until they're adult sized.